so here we are. This is the encampment. And this is the the list of demands here. So this started yesterday around 8 a.m. and now it's the second day of the occupation. Canfield for Democracy Watch News. We're at the Quad at the University of Washington in Seattle and all across the nation there have been protests and rallies and encampments taking place uh, and now we see one here at the University of Washington. So we're going to talk to uh, one of the folks involved and see what they have to say. So of course people are going to be asking you what what is your message today? I see you actually have some points up here on the side of this tent um, but can you tell us kind of what 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 are you what are you demanding today? What are your goals with this encampment? And what do you want to see happen with the University of Washington? Yes, yeah, so we're looking for the University of Washington to do three things. The first is to materially divest from Israel. The second is to cut all ties to Boeing. And the third is to end this repression of pro-Palestinian staff, faculty, and students. We're asking specifically for a written commitment from the University of Washington's president, Anna Marie Kause, to do those three things. When we, look at, when we look at what it means to support Palestine on our campuses, students all across the country, from Columbia to Vanderbilt to Stanford, when they started their encampments, they saw that, you know, our universities are deeply tied to the Israeli occupation of Palestine. And students across the country are taking up the demand that their universities divest from Israel. Now, we, now, at this university, students have taken up the demand to cut all ties with Boeing for years now. We, we aren't the first ones to say this. We're, we're standing on the shoulders of others here. And the reason that we're specifically saying that is because Boeing is not just in our backyards here in Seattle, it's also in our classrooms. Uh, we see we see now we see students being steered into we see students being steered into working for Boeing and while Boeing may may present the image of okay we primarily produce civilian airliners uh, in actuality much of their profit comes from producing the bombs and airplanes that drop bombs every single day on Gaza and uh, and go towards surveilling the West Bank when you see a hospital being bombed in Gaza, when you see the windows shattered as another family dies in Gaza, as, as Israel continues to assault the population of, of Palestinians there, what you see is that those bombs are oftentimes designed by Boeing in part, or the plane that is flying overhead to drop it was built by Boeing. And that's something that students at this university are increasingly saying we're not going to allow ourselves to be complicit with the genocide in Gaza anymore. We're not going to allow ourselves to be complicit with the occupation of Palestine in this way anymore. So um, do you have a message to the young folks out there and the students? What, how, how would you like to see them support this movement and what can they do individually to try to, to move things ahead for you? I think if you're at this university, just come on out. We welcome all support, even if you're just stopping by for five minutes to have a conversation. If you're at another university, uh, I would say start by just having a conversation with your classmates. I know that I know that while I myself um, have been a supporter of Palestinian liberation for years now, many students really they just heard about it when they when they started seeing the really the um, appalling footage coming out of Israel bombing hospitals, of Israel bombing universities, of, uh, 
of what we're now seeing in, in Gaza right now of, of Israel preparing to invade Rafah and a famine. Uh, and I know that many people are just finding out about this for the first time. So just having those conversations with your classmates, with your coworkers, with your roommates. Uh, and then, and, but not just having those educational conversations, I think. I think that's an important starting point. But you have to be, you have to start talking about how do we go further than that? How do we start, how do we start pushing for change? Does that mean targeting our administration? Does that mean that, for example, we have a, we have a study abroad program of Israel that we can start looking to shut that down? Because why are we sending students over to occupy Palestine to learn? Well, that that they, that isn't right. Uh, and then ultimately, we got We have to be willing to put. We have to be willing to put direct pressure on administration. The reason that we saw the Vietnam War end is not because we saw nicely worded petitions. It's because we saw students taking to the streets. The reason that we saw boycott, the reason that we saw the boycott, divestment, and sanctions campaign against apartheid in South Africa win, is again, it's not because of nicely worded petitions for the most part. It's because students fought for their universities to divest from South Africa and from companies complicit in apartheid in South Africa like Coca-Cola. And that's going to take the same thing to win the liberation of Palestine. So if a student asks, uh, well, how is the University of Washington directly related to investment in Boeing? How, how would you answer that question? Yeah, I mean, there's a few different ways. The first is that we can see that Boeing pretty directly has their name on buildings uh, here at this university. There's a floor of the aerospace engineering building that has Boeing's name on it. And just on the construction right now, finishing up this year, I believe, is the new interdisciplinary engineering building. And that, again, is in collaboration with Boeing. But it goes farther than that because Boeing also is involved in partnerships within classrooms. They're given preferential treatment when it comes to job fairs and the like. That's what it means when we say that the University of Washington is steering students towards Boeing is precisely that. They're, because they're in together so deep that you're going to see students looking at Boeing and going, okay, I'm going to go work there after I have my time at UW. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Do, do you want to give a name or affiliation or anything? You don't, you yeah. don't have to, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm Mathieu Chabot. I'm a member of the Progressive Student Union. M-A-T-H-I-E-U. C-H-A-B-A-U-D. You've done interviews before.